Hi everyone, this is Liquid Amber Girl Gardening and this is a refractometer. I'm going to show you how I use this to measure the bricks or sugar content of my grapes. Join me! Liquid Amber Girl Gardening. Okay, I have a clean pan to collect grapes in. It's important that it's clean and doesn't um, have any water in it so make sure it's properly dried. I have some nitrile gloves um, because the grapes are pretty sticky. We have some insects that are chewing holes in them and making a bit of a mess. So I'm just gonna take all this down. The back of my side-by-side -side is a mess because I've been pruning and um, repairing lines in the fence as well. So anyhow, let's get going. dog prints, either from Batman or Nala. It's hard to say. They both run around here quite a lot. So we're down here in the vineyard. There's another good dog print. And here are our grapes. So you can see these are Vidal grapes, which is a white grape. They do have seeds. They're not huge in size. This is sunburn. Uh, when I at some point was pruning, there must have been leaves covering down over this and I pruned away leaves and then a little bit of sunburn results. Doesn't harm the grapes terribly. It's also not the best thing. So right quickly, I would like to talk to you about the ripeness of grapes and what am I gonna be picking? Because we can look right here and see if you compare, I hope we can see this on camera. If you compare the color of these grapes to the color of the grapes below them, can you see how much more golden these ones are? Even here is a good comparison. These are lighter, these are darker, taking on even almost a reddish hue. Um, so these are not quite as ripe. The owners of this vineyard want all the grapes to be tested so that we can have a good idea if we go through and harvest everything what is the sweetness of that juice going to look like if you are in a vineyard or an orchard or wherever you're working if you're only going to harvest fruit that's super sweet then you only need to test the super sweet fruit so as i was saying the owners of the vineyard want everything to be tested so i'm going to take things of varying sizes i'm going to take things of varying ripeness and we're going to take about between 50 and 60 grapes as a sample and they're pretty ripe and vidal has pretty thin skin so when they're ripe like this they can break off really nice and easy. Isn't it pretty? I love the color of these grapes. Here is a good example of super ripe and super not ripe. <laughs> Aren't they pretty though? I love the bright green. This is how the grapes start off. I mean, obviously they start in teeny tiny little clusters and then with sunlight, they just sweeten into this color. These, I think, are way too ripe. Obviously, when we're out harvesting, which is very, very soon, these are not going to go in the mix because they're just gonna be so, so sour. Like, think of a Granny Smith, but times, I don't know, 100. Let's pick this one right here. Had a ton of rain in the past week 
and by a ton I mean like five inches and it's not unusual for us to have that at this point in the summer early fall in Ohio but it is unfortunate because I'm afraid it's going to drive our bricks down obviously if you're counting sugar content in a liquid the more water you have diluting that number the lower it's gonna go and so we tested last week almost almost a week ago last Friday this is Thursday and last Friday it was 20.8 bricks which was just a composite of all of the rows different sizes shapes maturity of grapes in that mix and uh, we'll see what this kind of water does to my number to compare This is deer damage. You can see how, maybe you can see how the end of what was a cluster of grapes has been snipped off, kind of like scissors. It can also look like a tearing. Very naughty. See how, see how they've eaten the grapes down, the grape clusters all the way down and then look below on the ground. Oh, they're such brats. What they do is they just eat the center out of the grape and fling the skin down behind. They don't love the skin for whatever reason. While we're here, look at this moss. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The sun hitting it, it's so pretty. I could look at moss all day. That's all it takes. Time to go up and test these suckers. Alright. Okay, we have our grapes. I have a masher. And I'm going to literally smash or crush the grapes as much as possible. Grapes are mashed. Doesn't matter that the skins and seeds and everything are all in there. All we're going to be using is the juice. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute. And next you need some distilled water and your refractometer. So before I even turn this on, I'm going to use a pipette and get some distilled water, just a couple drops of it. And I'm actually going to put it on this surface, which is the surface that will read um, for bricks. Okay, open the lid. It's good to always keep this closed because anything dust or fingerprints or anything like that is not going to give you a good calibration. I'm gonna hit go and that turns them on. And I'm gonna hit menu until my display says set zero. Boom. So what we're doing is just recalibrating. Okay, so I do this every time. Now he's ready. We're gonna open the chamber and I have a dry rag and I'm literally just going to sop all that water up. And again, we don't want any extra water in our measurement because extra water equals lower bricks in an inaccurate reading, basically. So it's all nice and clean. Set that aside. And it's time to go in for some grape juice. I'm going to try to take 
just a wee little bit and only enough and only stuff that is not full of other stuff like seeds and stuff. And then this needs about two or three drops and that's all. Two, three, get rid of that. And then I'm gonna have to clean that pipette. I'm gonna close the lid here. Good, we're all set. Hang on while I clean my pipette. <clears throat> okay, pipette is all cleaned. I have placed three drops of grape juice on that little glass area. And it says uh, in the instructions to allow the again the temperature to kind of normalize so i and it says that's like 30 seconds for every 10 degrees of celsius of difference in temperature every 20 degrees fahrenheit in difference in temperature so it's been like a minute i think we're good to go i'm just going to hit go and it's going to take several seconds 20.9 <laughs> we've gone up from 20.8, which was Friday last, this is Thursday of the following week, we've gone up 0.1. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that we've gone up at all because as I told you before, we had so much rain and really almost no sun. So I'm thrilled that we've gone up and not down. And uh, I hope that this was interesting at least, maybe a little bit helpful to you. And uh, I hope you all are having a great week. I'll see you in the next video, bye.